Me TV is an American broadcast television network that is owned by Weggle Broadcasting and distributed by Metro Goldwyn Mayer. The network, marketed as the definitive destination for classic TV, mainly airs classic television sitcoms and drama series from the 1950s through the 1980s. Through its ownership by Weggle, the National Me TV network is a sister network to movies, which focuses on films from the 1930s to the 2000s. The National Network primarily airs series from the CBS Television Distribution and 20th Television Libraries, and several programs from other libraries. MeTV is designed to be broadcast on the digital sub-channels of television stations. However some stations carry MeTV as their primary channel affiliation, and a small number of stations air select programs from the network alongside their regular general entertainment schedules. The network is also available nationwide on free-to-air C-band satellite via SES-1 in DVBS format. Background Beginnings in Chicago, MeTV originated on January 6, 2003 as a programming block that aired from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. on Class A television station WFBTCA in Chicago, Illinois, an independent station that otherwise featured an ethnic programming format. Shows featured in the block included The Jack Benny Program, Sergeant B. Co., The Carol Burnett Show, More Than One Day at a Time, though the lineup changed occasionally. On January 1, 2005, Weggle rechristened the Chicago ethnic station as WWMECA, with the MeTV format being adopted full time. The station's former ethnic programming and WFBTCA call letters moved to Channel 48. On March 1, 2008, that station became WMEUCA and was reformatted as Me Too, an extension of WWME's Me TV format, maintaining a wide variety of off-network sitcoms and drama series from a variety of distributors. The two low-power stations also are broadcast locally on digital sub-channels of Weggles' flagship station WCIU-TV. Initially, the two stations ran similar schedules. But by 2008, one would air only sitcoms while the other aired only dramas. On September 14, 2009, the two stations carved their own identities, as MeTV on WWME began to run only off network sitcoms, while Me2 on WMEU began running only off network drama series. Milwaukee Expansion Weggle expanded the MeTV format to Milwaukee, Wisconsin where it began airing on the third digital sub-channel of the company's CBS affiliate in that market, WDJT-TV, on March 1, 2008. The Milwaukee version of the station featured much of the same programming as the Chicago outlets, with some differing programs and time slots. On April 21, 2008, Weggle moved the MeTV programming to its own dedicated full-power channel, the newly acquired WJJA in Racine whose call letters were changed to WBME-TV, and later began transmitting the station's signal from a new digital transmitter on the Weggle Tower in Milwaukee's Lincoln Park. MeTV continued to be carried on digital channel 58.3 until November 1, 2008, with the launch of this TV on the same channel. The station also airs public affairs programming including Resign and Me and because of its full power status at the time of the move of Me TV programming to Channel 49, EI programming such as WCIU's Green Screen Adventures and Saved by the Bell. National Expansion On November 22, 2010, Weggle announced that it would take the Me TV concept national and turn it into a full-fledged network with a standardized schedule, available to any station wishing to affiliate. As a result, MeTV would compete fully with the Retro Television Network and Antenna TV, while complementing successful then-sister network This TV, which carries library product from Metro Goldwyn Mayer and Cookie Jar Entertainment. The National MeTV Network launched on December 15, 2010. As with This TV, MGM handles the distribution of the network. As part of the standardization with the new network, Chicago's local version of MeTV merged with MeToo, airing both comedy and drama programming together under the MeToo brand as a locally programmed service. The national MeTV airs on WCIU sub-channel 26.3 and WWMECA, 
while the new Me 2 moved to WCIU sub-channel 26.4 and remained on WMEU car. The local Me Too channel on WMEU in Chicago aired a broader variety of programming than the national version, as Me Too locally continued to carry both classic and recent programs, while acquired programming on the national Me TV network is limited to series that debuted prior to 1985. The Me Too format on WMEU lasted until November 1, 2013, when it was converted into a standalone extension of WCIU's The U2 subchannel which carries a general entertainment independent station format with some classic series remaining on the schedule. Low-powered WBME CD in Milwaukee carries the entire national feed of MeTV on digital channel 41.1. As a full-power station, Weigel planned to launch a locally programmed Me2 sub-channel on WBME, which was set for an early 2011 debut a Euro however, this never occurred due to the launch of sister network movies. On May 27, 2013, which took the proposed 49.3 channel slot, Wegel owned WBNDLD in South Bend began carrying the network on its sub channel 57.2 on December 15, 2010. Programming MeTV's program schedule relies on the extensive library of television programs that are currently owned by CBS Television Distribution and 20th Television. As such, no originally produced programming appears on the network, though two programs produced by parent company Weigel Broadcasting do air on MeTV. The network's primary continuity announcer is Chicago-based voiceover artist Carol Gallagher, who has served as MeTV's staff announcer since its existence as a local programming format on WWMECA and WMEUCA, prior to its establishment as a national network. Longtime voiceover artist Richard Malmose, who has been the continuity announcer for Weggles' flagship station WCIU since December 1994, is the network's secondary announcer. Unlike other digital multicast networks such as former sister network This TV and competitor Antenna TV, MeTV does not usually run day-long marathons of its programs on major national holidays, opting instead to carry the network's regular schedule. Although the network does air holiday-themed episodes of his shows on some holidays such as Halloween and Thanksgiving, which are aired in the program's regular time slot but are shown out of order from its regular episode rotation. Since its inception as a national network, MeTV has also aired marathons of the Doris Day show on the night of Christmas Eve as well as occasional Christmas-themed specials during the month of December. Occasional tribute marathons of programming are carried after the death of television actors and actresses whose programs or guest appearances are a part of MeTV's maintained rights. The network does not air a split-screen credit sequence or feature voiceovers promoting upcoming network programming during the closing credits. Some MeTV affiliates may not air certain programs due to either airing newscasts, infomercials, public affairs programming, locally acquired syndicated programming, or in some cases, another station in the market having the local syndication rights to a particular program. To address this, MeTV program promotions display the fine print notation on most MeTV stations during the time slot card. However, MeTV prefers that the local affiliates do not preempt the network's programming so the viewers will know that they will get classic TV programming. The network likes the affiliated stations to air promotions with news anchors talking about their favorite classic TV series. Classic television series, MeTV has program licensing agreements with 20th Television, CBS Television Distribution. MeTV also shares broadcast rights to programs from the NPC Universal Television Distribution Library as well as select titles from Sony Pictures Television with Antenna TV and select titles from the Peter Rogers Organization and Warner Brothers. Television Distribution The network's programming covers a mix of sitcoms, dramas, and westerns from the 1950s to the 1980s and includes series such as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Cheers, Happy Days, Bosom Buddies, Welcome Back, Cotter, Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie, Taxi, The Dick Van Dyke Show, Car 54, Where Are You? The Donna Reed Show, Make Room for Daddy, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Hogan's Heroes, Rhoda, F Troop, The Honeymooners, Kojak, Emergency. 
The Streets of San Francisco, That Girl, Gunsmoke, The Rifleman, The Andy Griffith Show, Mork and Mindy, Bonanza, Perry Mason, The Brady Bunch, Batman, The Odd Couple, The Big Valley, The Bob Noir Show, My Three Sons, The Mothers-in-Law, The Lucy Show, Love, American Style, Laverne and Shirley, The Love Boat, Family Ties, Green Acres, Family Affair, Gummer Pal USMC, I Love Lucy, The Beverly Hillbillies, Get Smart, MASH, Leave It to Beaver and Gilligan's Island. Most of the series airing on the network have been widely syndicated on other television outlets in the United States and abroad, though a few series featured on the network have not been seen on television for several years or were syndicated on a fairly inconsistent basis. Programming Blocks, Current, Wake Up With Me, a three-hour block of sitcoms airing Monday through Fridays from 6.00 to 9.00 a.m. Eastern Time, that features Petticoat Junction, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Donna Reed Show, I Love Lucy, and Leave It to Beaver. Weekday Rope Opera, The Weekday Rope Opera is a three-hour block of westerns airing weekdays from 1.00 to 4.00 p.m. Eastern, featuring classic western series Gunsmoke, Bonanza and The Rifleman. Rescue Me, this three-hour block, which debuted in September 2014, airs weekdays from 4.00 to 7.00 p.m. Eastern, and features police and rescue-themed dramas consisting of Adam-12, Emergency, and Chips. Me Wants You. A three-hour block, which debuted in September 2014, airs weeknights from 7.00 to 10.00 p.m. Eastern, and features Army, Law Enforcement, and nautical-themed sitcoms consisting of MASH, The Andy Griffith Show or Mabry RFD, Hogan's Heroes, and Gilligan's Island. Me TV Comedy Conundrum, this hour-long block, which debuted in September 2013, features a different classic sitcom each weeknight from 10.00 to 11.00 p.m., Me TV's Most Wanted, airing Saturdays from 11.00 a.m. to 6.00 p.m. Eastern Time, this block is a seven-hour long lineup of westerns including Daniel Boone, Big Valley, Gunsmoke, Bonanza, Rawhide, Wanted, Dead or Alive and The Rifleman. Super Sci-Fi Saturday Nights, airing Saturday evenings from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern, Super Sci-Fi Saturday Nights is an eight-hour block of science fiction and fantasy programs including Adventures of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Star Trek. Lost in Space and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. The block is tentpoled by the Weigel produced sci fi horror movie showcase Svengulli, which airs at 10 p.m. Eastern. The Brady Brunch. The Brady Brunch is a two hour block of episodes of The Brady Bunch, airing Sundays from 12.00 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Catch Me If You Can. This block, airing Sundays from 3.00 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern consists primarily of five detective series from the 1970s and 1980s, Remington Steel, The Streets of San Francisco, The Rockford Files, Hawaii Five-O, and Black Sheep Squadron, followed by a Columbo TV movie. On weeks when a Columbo film running 90 minutes is scheduled, the half-hour following the film is filled by an episode of M.A.S.H. The Spies Who Love Me, this four-hour block, debuting in September 2014, Airs Sundays from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern, and is a mix of spy themed programming with a man from UNCLE. Mission, Impossible, Get Smart, and The Saint. The Summer of Me, airing from Memorial Day until the Sunday before Labor Day. The Summer of Me is a special schedule that airs during the summer months, consisting of a mix of series already on the network's schedule that are broadcast in different time slots from the prior regular fall spring schedule and series added to the network's lineup. Former, Me TV Sunday Showcase, airing from September 2012 to September 2013. The Me TV Sunday Showcase was a four hour block that aired Sunday afternoons from 3.00 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That featured marathons of classic television series a Euro, either linked by a theme or by series. Sunday Night Noir, airing from October 2011 to September 2014 on Sunday nights from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern, Sunday Night Noir was a block featuring detective and suspense series including Thriller, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, The Fugitive, Naked City, Peter Kuhn, 
Mr. Lucky, Route 66 and The Saint. Movies, despite access to program content from the Universal Television, CBS Television and 20th Century Fox Libraries, movies have a relatively limited presence on MeTV's weekly schedule. MeTV airs the rich cause hosted horror and science fiction film showcase Svengulli on Saturday evenings, which is syndicated by sister independent station WCIU-TV and features film releases from Universal Studios. In September 2013, MeTV debuted a Friday primetime film block called the MeTV Made for TV Movie, which showcases made-for-television films from the 1970s to the 1990s that were originally seen on NBC, ABC and CBS. The block later began to include movie-length blocks of certain series available on the MeTV's schedule. Until September 2013, the network also aired Laurel and Hardy movies and shorts on Sunday mornings. Children's programming, in order to meet the FCC's required weekly amount of educational children's program content, MeTV carries green screen adventures, Weggles Chicago-based program originally meant for local viewing, as well as various syndicated children's and teen-oriented programs such as Mystery Hunters, Travel Through History and the Canadian teen drama series Agement, all of which air on weekend mornings. In September 2013, MeTV began customizing its weekend morning lineup in order to allow its affiliates to choose between running both the Saturday and Sunday EI blocks, or running the children's lineup on one weekend day and a three hour block of classic sitcoms in place of the children's programs on the other, allowing stations to fulfill educational programming quotas by running the minimum three hour requirement or an overall total of six hours of EI content. MeTV also previously ran a children's program block on Saturday mornings called A9 MeTV, that was handled by the New York City based Classic Media. The three hour block debuted on April 7, 2012, and featured animated series such as He Man and the Masters of the Universe and She Ra, Princess of Power, along with Gumby and Mr. Magoo animated shorts. The block officially ended on October 6, 2012. MeTV began airing the cult classic Sid and Marty Croft productions H.R. Pufenstuff and Land of the Lost during the 2013 Christmas season. The shows became part of the regular Saturday morning lineup on December 28, 2013. Affiliates As of 2014, MeTV has current or pending affiliation agreements with television stations in over 160 television markets encompassing 46 states covering approximately 91% of the United States. This makes MeTV the largest sub-channel network by population reach percentage, and the seventh largest broadcast television network by number of affiliates in the United States. Of these affiliates, several stations have carried the network as a formal primary channel affiliation and two are general entertainment stations that air select MeTV programs on a tape-delayed basis. Currently, Alaska is the only U.S. state where MeTV does not have an affiliate either within or overlapping any part of the state. Like former sister network This TV, many of MeTV's affiliates include regional descriptors reflecting the station's primary broadcast area underneath the on-screen logo bug displayed during the network's programming. Some stations, such as Atlanta's WSB-TV and Tampa's WFLA-TV, display customized logos using slight adaptations of their regular logos with the sub-channel number below the main MeTV logo bug, while others display a past version of their station's logo for a retro feel and disambiguation from their main station. Others display their calls and city of license in the MeTV bug full-time just in case the ID sequence malfunctions in some manner. On January 7, 2011, KCTULD in Wichita, Kansas became the first television station not owned by Weggle to carry the MeTV network. However, that station's affiliation with the network lasted only about one week, as KCTULD and MeTV could not come to terms on a contract to keep the network affiliated with the station on a long term basis. In early 2011, the Hagel Communications became the first non Weggle station group to sign selected stations to carry MeTV on their digital sub channels with sub-channels of WCCB and WOLO-TV adding the network in early March of that year. On April 4, 2011, it was announced that MeTV had signed agreements with 14 broadcasting companies, 
most notably Hearst Television, Race on Media, Cox Media Group, Media General and Titan Broadcast Management, to begin airing MeTV. MeTV affiliates in certain markets may not air every program on the network's lineup. As examples, two of MeTV's digital sub-channel only affiliates carry its programming on a secondary basis while nominally serving as a primary affiliate of a major broadcast network due to the lack of enough stations in a given media market for a standalone main channel affiliation. Key examples include WBBJ TV Jackson, Tennessee, which holds a primary affiliation with CBS on its third digital sub channel. WIBW TV Topeka, Kansas, whose second sub channel is primarily affiliated with My Network TV. And WPTZ Plattsburgh, New York Burlington, Vermont, whose second sub channel is primarily affiliated with the CW. Some of MeTV's full-time affiliates where it is carried on a sub-channel of a network-affiliated station also preempt select MeTV programs during certain morning and primetime slots in favor of local newscasts that are produced for the sub-channel by that station's news department. These examples, along with WCVB-TV Boston also use their MeTV sub-channels as a buffer channel to move network and syndicated programming over to during breaking news events preempting me TV programming. Additionally, stations may also air select me TV programs recorded in advance on their main channels in order to fill unprogrammed time slots or as a backup source of programming in the event of a network sports event being delayed or postponed due to weather. In a few markets, the local affiliate may preempt certain me TV programs in favor of locally produced, acquired or time brokered programming. New York City affiliate WZME Bridgeport Connecticut preempts much of MeTV's morning and late night schedule, replacing those programs with infomercials. Similarly, former Dallas affiliate KTXD TV Greenville, Texas aired mostly syndicated series and locally produced programs in those slots. WGCB TV Red Lion, Pennsylvania offers blocks of the network's programming on its main channel's regular schedule, while running the full MeTV network feed on a separate sub channel. A situation also mirrored by WBBZ TV Springville, New York, and by former affiliate KTXD. On December 13, 2012, MeTV became available on AT&T Uverse in some markets, available on Channel 136. In late August 2014, Sinclair Broadcasting's American Sports Network, a new network for college sports, began airing on Sinclair-owned stations such as Washington DC's WJLA, which has a sub-channel airing MeTV. ASN has preempted most of MeTV Sci-Fi Saturday night programming on WJLA's MeTV sub-channel. See also Movies Sister network owned by Weggle Broadcasting and Fox Television stations, specializing in feature films only. Retro Television Network Competing digital broadcast network owned by Lucan Communications specializing in classic TV series from the 1950s to the 1970s. Antenna TV, competing digital broadcast network owned by Tribune Broadcasting specializing in classic TV series from the 1950s to the 1990s. Cozy TV, competing digital broadcast network owned by NBC Universal specializing in classic TV series from the 1950s to the 1980s along with programming from Forerunner Network non-stop. Bounce TV, digital broadcast network with similarly styled retro programming movies specifically targeting African American audiences. Get TV, competing digital broadcast network owned by Sony Pictures Entertainment specializing in classic movies from America's Golden Age. References External links, official website